Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if it's your very first time, welcome. So today's video is going to be as much of a surprise to you as it will be to me because I have not unboxed this yet. Inside is contained one of the rings from Lisa Eldridge's new ring collection, much anticipated by me and many of her other fans. I've been watching her for very many years and I have to say there aren't that many people in life that I would really fangirl over but she is one of them and of course to complement that I was always going to be very very excited with the launch of a precious or semi-precious stone line I am a jeweler myself I have a jewelry line called Nouvelle Pearl which focuses on freshwater pearls and so of course you know hearing that someone that I really admire and who I consider to be really talented is launching a ring line was very exciting to me so as soon as the site launched I kind of knew it was gonna sell out because those of us who love Lisa Eldridge are really into her so I was quick to order I was order number 18 and I'll tell you a little bit more about my buying process and thought process about the line once I've unboxed this but without further ado let's take some scissors to the box and see what's inside and I'm already very much anticipating the beautiful packaging I have to say I think the whole launch was very well executed and I love the video where she talked about her thought process um, throughout the design process and creative process and everything that went into it. I've created some similar videos myself for my line and there's something that I really enjoy creating and so it was lovely to be on the other side of the screen and listen to someone talk about their process and all of the work that went into it. So here's the box. I'm going to hold it up for you while we discover what's inside together. So here's some red tissue. Oh, there's further packaging inside. Um, this is just details of what was ordered. Same thing as the email I think that I got. And then here is the ring and there's just some more red tissue paper underneath. Um, so I've had a bit of a hard time lately and uh, move and I literally just fi finally finished unpacking yesterday and I'm still organizing. So you'll have to forgive any sort of errors in filming. Um, but I'm very excited to treat myself to something special. So the timing was perfect. Thank you, Lisa. And I have to say I'm already loving that there are little tiny stickers with her initial and lips. Um, so I believe this is the logo for the line, if it will focus, um, which is gonna be her signature. And she's created little stickers to close a tissue with. And then the same logo appears in gold on the box. So you can see that's been hot stamped. Um, in gold and it's powder pink and I'm already getting that kind of vintage makeup feel from it and I got a red box. I do believe these come in different colors. I think there's also pink and uh, red and violet I believe. Oh I love this. I think this is actually handwritten so it's really exciting. That little personal touch, a little note that says love Lisa. That's wonderful. Little tiny card. Very cute. And here's the box. So should we open it together, guys? I'm so nervous. It's very soft to the touch. So this is faux suede. And you can see the size of it compared to my hand. All right. Ah. So this is the mirror ring that I ordered. So far, so good. It looks just like its photo. Oh, it's beautiful and you can see I love this about the packaging the contrast between the red and the pink I think is really beautiful and really um, accentuates the stone just this as well so I'll talk about this in a moment but it just fell out when I opened it because of course I wasn't holding it um, straight so that you guys could see but let's talk about the ring first um, so this is the Mira and there are two colors of citron in the line um, so there's the Josephine which is a darker citron and higher priced and then there's the Mira which is named after an Indian actress and I have to say even though it is the lighter color of citron it's still very saturated and gorgeous and golden and it's sort of a soft yellow it's not really orangey it's not yeah, it's just like a beautiful 
true citron color, what I would expect out of a citron. And so to tell you a little bit about my thought process for what I wanted, um, I wear a ring on the middle finger of my right hand every single day. I also wear some rings on my left hand as well, but I don't tend to switch these up. Whereas my cocktail ring, my daily cocktail ring, I wear this even to the office, um, I do switch up. So I've got a David Yurman Albion ring in the Preciolite, which is one of the reasons I didn't buy Preciolite from this line because I already have one. And this is actually a Tanzanite that was my mom's and she gave it to me. And I love this ring and I had it sized to figure out what the perfect size would be from Lisa Eldridge's line and that is a size six for my middle finger. So I'm gonna try it on there and you can see what it looks like and the size is perfect. Um, and I think apparently this corresponds to a medium in the UK. So here it is and I have to say I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So for years after Lisa became big on YouTube, there have been so many imitations of her classic signature rings. At first she had, I believe, a yellow and a green ring, and then um, fairly recently there was a red one as well, which is, um, Spinel, I think it's a red spinel. It's a really rare stone. And those are all designed by William Wellstead, who also designed her engagement ring. I know, I know way too much about this. Um, he's a very, very high-end jeweler who, um, specializes in diamonds and precious stones and like she said in her video they tend to be ones that have not been um, faceted quite as much as you might see from a mainstream line like Tiffany's or De Beers and really unique settings and so he designed her rings and because it's on I'm guessing what must be her right hand or her dominant hand when she does makeup it's very noticeable and they're very unique looking and they don't really look like anything that I had ever seen personally at least um, so of course you know um, Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, so there have been a lot of sellers that have come up on Etsy and so forth that have tried to imitate that design um, to limited success. And I'll tell you my thoughts behind the reason for that and what made this unique to me and why I think they're absolutely worth it. So as she discussed in her video, there's the cut of the stone, which is, um, somewhat limited so the top of it is still flat and there's not a ton of faceting which is not to say that you don't get quite a lot of shine from it um, and then the setting of it is I think what is even more special to me so as opposed to a more classic setting like you might see on my tanzanite this ring has a surrounding gold setting so it encircles um, whatever stone you choose they're all set in the same way there are two options one is cushion cut and the other one is oval like this and what's unique to me and what separates it from a lot of the imitations that don't get it quite right is that even though there's a band that encircles the stone um, below it you can actually see the bottom of the stone so you can see the whole stone and none of it is actually hidden and you get a lot of light that passes through the side opening so there are four openings and four prongs and then attached to the prongs there is um, that circle that goes around the stone so I think the look that you get is you get a lot of beautiful shine from that gold um, more than you would get if there were just four prongs but because there are still four openings and four prongs and it's not a complete solid setting you still get a lot of light fil filtering through and that really in allows the stone to really shine. I love that I can actually see my finger through the stone so it has a very high clarity um, and I think um, knowing a little bit about stones I'm not an expert like I said my um, specialty is pearls um, I would say that the prices are actually very fair and you can tell by the fact that they graduate depending on which stone you choose and which metal you choose so of course Gold is much more expensive than silver. There's a huge difference between the two. And there's also a big difference between the stones. So I think the highest priced one is an emerald, which is natural. It really is, I think, a matter of personal taste and um, whichever co color that you find yourself drawn to. I'll tell you a little bit about my buying process and why I chose what I chose. But before that, I just want to finish showing you the packaging. So um, you got a pretty good look of the red box, but what you didn't see was this gorgeous little puff. And I think, you know, this really is a testament to attention to detail and how important that is. So it's also a really nice homage to her background and career in makeup. And it's a little puff that is meant to um, replicate those that you would have seen in vintage makeup. You don't see too many of those with makeup anymore. Laura Mercier does a puff. Um, a few brands that have loose pow powder do, but they're certainly not pretty like this. And these are actually handmade by, I believe, her assistant's mother. And I got a really pretty one. I'm really happy with this one. It's a really pretty lilac that actually 
Sort of reminds me of my Tanzanite rings. So I think that's really fun. I love the play on colors. I love how unique and fearless it is to do a very different kind of packaging than, you know, has been seen before with rings and it feels very authentic to me because of Lisa's background in makeup. Um, so it feels like, you know, this is very much like a passion project for her and everything that I've experienced through my order is a reflection of that. I should say I'm not you know, biased in any way in doing this video. The link below will not be an affiliate link and um, I'm just doing this video because I'm a fan of Lisa and a fan of jewelry and I was really excited about this launch, but I won't be making um, anything from it. It says unbiased a review as you can get from someone who watches her videos and enjoys her content. Um, but I have to say if the ring was disappointing, I would definitely tell you guys and I think you would see it on my face because I'm actually incredibly picky about jewelry. Um, so as much as I appreciate the craftsmanship of all of those um, sort of imitation of the original William Wellstead design that are on Etsy, I would not have bought one myself because I don't like how heavy the setting is on those ones. I think it really um, tends to camouflage the beauty of the stone because it's a totally solid setting. I feel like so many creators tend to do merch, um, but this doesn't feel like merch. This feels like something that um, she worked really hard on personally without you know delegating more than um, is necessary so I, I have to say I'm really happy with the Mira I hesitated a lot over which stone to get um, or at least as much as I could allow myself before I knew that it was going to start to sell out and then I'd be um, in on the second round which I hear is coming soon um, possibly this week and um, the reason I chose the mirror and why I chose a yellow, which is maybe a little bit of an unexpected choice for me, is as follows. A, I don't own any citrons yet, so I've got stones that are in the purples. I have an amethyst as well, um, and I've got a lot of garnets that have been passed down to me um, from my grandmother when those were really in style. So I think... You know, going for a uh, citrine was a wise choice in that it will go with everything. I intend to wear this every day. I'm not sure if it will layer well with this tanzanite or not. Just fit my tanzanite on my index finger though. And I think they look fairly nice together. Um, but essentially what these are are stacking rings. Um, so Lisa wears her stack. I wanted to buy a safe choice that I knew I would get a lot of wear out of that wasn't similar to anything I owned and potentially if I was happy with the purchase that would layer well with uh, another ring from the line of my choice. So um, I can now say I'm very, very happy with this. I'm obsessed with it. It doesn't look like anything that I could buy from anywhere else. Um, and so I very likely will um, treat myself to another one, maybe when bonus season comes around. This feels like a good foundation for stacking. I could add a cushion cut one, but I have to say more partial to the oval because I do think it is more her signature and I'm more partial personally to round and oval and pear shapes and things like that when it comes to stones. If I'm feeling a little bit more spendy, I think I'm very likely to treat myself to the Elizabeth at some point. So I think it's a standout piece of the line. I wasn't quite well to spend um, 1400 pounds right off the bat especially with a currency conversion um, so this priced at 800 um, pounds is around the middle of the line excluding the very very top top stones yeah I definitely am very partial to the Elizabeth it looks rather purple online and so I hesitated because of the tanzanite. Once I saw it in Lisa's video, after I had already placed my order, I realized that it's actually more blue. Um, it's definitely more of an indigo blue. It just seems to have photographed a little bit purple. There are a lot of beautiful purples for the rings. So if you're into amethyst or anything like that, you will find a lot of selection. So yeah, they're all beautiful. Um, they're like candy and um, they don't disappoint in person. This looks just like its photo and it looks just like um, the rings that I've seen Lisa wear. I think the stone is 8 by 10 and um, it might be just a hint smaller than the William Wellstead ones that she wears in her videos but it's really hard to tell with scale so I don't actually know that that's just an assumption I would say that it's a medium-sized stone which I think is good for every day and I really encourage you if you buy precious jewelry like this wear it um, it's expensive and it's a beautiful conversation piece um, for me wearing jewelry like this just in my daily life of course not too much of it um, brings me a lot of joy and that's why I started my own line was so that um, everybody could afford to wear pearls that they want to.
Um, so that's where I come from. And I'm really happy with this purchase. I think it's a really nice compliment to my collection. I can definitely see myself buying another in the future. The line launched last Thursday, which was the 17th and today is the 22nd so it came in five days um, possibly would have come in four if it wasn't a long weekend so very very fast shipping um, they used fedex to ship it to canada and what is most surprising to me and this is really for my canadian people um, i did not pay any tax on it um, it was listed as bill to sender um, and so i don't really know how that works on her end i'm guessing it's just priced into her business model and i was very very impressed with that because if you are Canadian and you've ever ordered from like let's say Fashion File or even Nordstrom usually you pay the tax at checkout if it's a large company if it's a smaller company you will normally pay it on delivery um, or before they deliver it to you and sometimes it can be a nasty surprise um, in terms of the fees that are assessed it's not easy to predict um, so I was fully expecting that and I was expecting to also pay a high amount even based on the currency conversion that they wouldn't use a very favorable rate and I paid nothing at all and so I have to say that pushes me um, to definitely get another ring because it, it made the purchase less expensive than I was expecting it to be so yeah that's my Lisa Eldridge unboxing and review if you'd like to see more content on style then make sure you give this video a like and subscribe and maybe turn on your alerts I've been getting a lot of messages um, from you recently I never asked for this normally but I've been getting a lot of messages that you haven't been seeing my videos some of you um, so if you want to make sure that you see them do turn on your um, alerts which is just a little bell if you'd like to see a video as soon as it comes out thank you so much for watching I really enjoyed making this for you and I will see you in my next video.